Hello and welcome. Today, we're diving into the world of data visualization to explore the differences between histograms and bar charts. They might look similar at first glance, but each serves a unique purpose in data analysis. Understanding histograms. Histograms are a fundamental tool in statistical analysis, providing valuable insights into the distribution of continuous variables. What is a histogram? A histogram is a graphical representation of the frequency distribution of data. It consists of vertical bars, with each bar representing the frequency of data points within specific intervals or bins along the x-axis. How does it work? Each bar in a histogram corresponds to a particular range or interval along the x-axis. The height of each bar indicates the frequency or count of data points falling within that range. Thus, taller bars represent higher frequencies, while shorter bars indicate lower frequencies. Interpreting histograms. Histograms offer insights into various aspects of the data distribution, including central tendency, variability, and shape. Analysts can interpret characteristics such as skewness, asymmetry, modality, number of peaks, and outliers by examining the shape and spread of the histogram. For example, a symmetric histogram suggests a balanced distribution, while a skewed histogram indicates an imbalance towards one end. Similarly, a unimodal histogram has one prominent peak, while a multimodal histogram has multiple peaks. Outliers, or data points significantly different from the rest of the dataset, may appear as isolated bars outside the main distribution in the histogram. Constructing a histogram. Constructing a histogram involves several steps. First, the data range is divided into intervals or bins. The width of these bins can vary depending on the desired level of detail and the characteristics of the data. Next, the frequency of data points falling within each bin is tallied. This frequency count forms the basis for the height of the bars in the histogram. Each bar is drawn to represent the frequency of data points within its corresponding interval. Applications of histograms. Histograms find applications across various fields, including statistics, data analysis, and quality control. They serve as powerful visual tools for visualizing patterns and trends in data, identifying anomalies or outliers, assessing the distribution of data and its characteristics, making informed decisions based on the distribution of data. From exploratory data analysis to process monitoring and manufacturing, histograms play a crucial role in understanding and analyzing datasets of all types and sizes. Conclusion In conclusion, Histograms offer a comprehensive and intuitive way to visualize the distribution of continuous variables. By providing a graphical representation of data frequencies within different intervals, histograms enable analysts to gain valuable insights into the underlying patterns and characteristics of the dataset, facilitating informed decision-making across various domains. Understanding Bar Charts Bar charts serve as a valuable tool for comparing different categories or groups offering a visual representation of data that facilitates easy comparison and analysis. Introduction to Bar Charts Unlike histograms, which focus on the distribution of continuous variables, bar charts are utilized to compare discrete categories or groups. They consist of rectangular bars, with the length or height of each bar corresponding to the value of the data it represents. Key Characteristics of Bar Charts In a bar chart, each bar typically represents a distinct category or group. These categories could include different months, products, demographic groups, or any other discrete classification relevant to the dataset. The length or height of the bar reflects the value or frequency associated with that particular category. Comparing Categories The primary purpose of a bar chart is to visually compare the values or frequencies of different categories. By observing the lengths or heights of the bars, Viewers can quickly discern patterns, trends, and disparities among the various categories. Constructing a bar chart. Creating a bar chart involves organizing the data into categories and determining the corresponding values for each category. Once the data is structured appropriately, bars are drawn for each category, with their lengths or heights proportional to the corresponding values. Types of bar charts. Bar charts can take various forms, including vertical bar charts, where bars extend vertically from the x-axis, horizontal bar charts, where bars extend horizontally from the y-axis, grouped bar charts, 
displaying multiple groups of bars side by side for comparison, and stacked bar charts, where bars are stacked on top of each other to show the total and individual contributions of different categories. Applications of bar charts. Bar charts find widespread application across diverse fields, including business, finance, marketing, and social sciences. They are used for purposes such as sales analysis, market research, performance comparison, and demographic profiling. Conclusion In summary, bar charts are an essential visualization tool for comparing discrete categories or groups. By representing data values through the lengths or heights of rectangular bars, bar charts enable analysts and decision makers to easily identify trends, patterns, and differences among various categories, aiding in data-driven decision-making and communication of insights. Understanding the differences. Histograms versus bar charts. When choosing between histograms and bar charts, it's essential to understand their fundamental differences, as each serves a distinct purpose in data visualization and analysis. Purpose and usage. Histograms are primarily used to represent the distribution of continuous data, providing insights into the frequency and spread of values within a dataset. They are commonly employed in statistical analysis to visualize the distribution of variables like height, weight, or test scores. Bar charts, on the other hand, are designed for comparing discrete categories or groups. They are particularly useful for illustrating relationships, trends, or differences between various categorical datasets, such as sales figures for different products or demographic characteristics of a population. Visual representation. One of the key distinctions between histograms and bar charts lies in their visual representation of data. Histograms typically consist of adjacent bars with no gaps between them. This seamless arrangement emphasizes the continuity of the data and highlights the distribution of values along a continuous scale, such as age or income intervals. Bar charts, however, commonly feature gaps between the bars, underscoring the distinction between different categories or groups. These spaces serve to visually separate each category, making it easier for viewers to discern individual data points and compare values across discrete groups. Data Continuity versus Categorical Comparison While both histograms and bar charts use bars to represent data, their underlying principles and applications differ significantly. Histograms focus on the distribution and frequency of continuous data points within specified intervals or bins. By examining the height and shape of the bars, analysts can gain insights into the central tendency, variability, and skewness of the dataset. Bar charts, on the other hand, emphasize the comparison of discrete categories or groups. Each bar in a bar chart represents a distinct category, and the length or height of the bar corresponds to the value or frequency associated with that category. Bar charts enable viewers to easily compare values across different categories and identify patterns or trends within the data. Conclusion In summary, while both histograms and bar charts utilize bars to convey information, they serve distinct purposes and cater to different types of data. Understanding the key differences between histograms and bar charts is essential for selecting the appropriate visualization tool to effectively communicate insights and findings from a dataset. Whether analyzing the distribution of continuous variables or comparing discrete categories, choosing the right visualization technique can enhance understanding and facilitate data-driven decision-making. Thanks for joining us today as we explored the differences between histograms and bar charts. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the fascinating world of data visualization. Until next time, happy charting!